I have a whole bunch of products that have yet to be opened, despite being on a no-buy year since January 1st of 2020. Today, we're gonna haul my own makeup collection and see what I have. Stay tuned if you wanna raid my stash. Hi, everyone. So I just got done filming. Ta -ta -ta. Sephora haul and you probably have already seen that video but as soon as I finished filming that video I got another idea I thought hmm I really wanted to show you guys all the makeup products that I own that I have yet to have used is that even English that I have yet to have used what kind of sentence is that I've been meaning to do a video on all the makeup products that I have never used and I decided that I'm going to haul my own makeup collection so I went through all of my drawers, picked out all the products that are brand new, and I'm going to show all of that to you guys. So we are going to do another haul, except this one is with all of my existing products that I have still yet to try. So let's go through all the things I haven't used yet. But first, if you're new, welcome. My name is Natalia. I'm doing a year long no buy. And if you are also on a no buy or a low buy, or just looking for inspiration on some ways to use a product you already own, or you want to discuss new releases without necessarily buying every single one, as well as just other fun makeup topics, then you've come to the right place. I hope that you will subscribe and stick around and join our frugal family. And without further ado, let's jump into this video. So I have this Sephora box with all sorts of stuff. I don't think any of it is from Sephora, to be honest. A lot of it is TG Maxx, BoxyCharm, and random things that I'm guessing I've gotten in either other subscription boxes or point perks. So let's start with primers because I have a few and they're all minis. Let's see, we have a Lorac one. This is the Light Source 3-in-1 Illuminating Primer. It's brand new, sealed. I have a couple that I'm using right now, either as part of my project pan or shop my stash. So I'm not going to open these right now. I just wanted to show them on camera so that you guys know what I have in case you're interested in knowing about any of these products in case you want me to try something next so that I kind of also get a feel for that. Once. I filmed this because I really wanted you to see exactly the extent of all my new products, then I can just break into these at any point. This is the Strivectin Anti-Wrinkle Line Blur Perfecta Instant Wrinkling Blurring Primer. So that's what that looks like. I wonder if this is gonna be kind of like a silicone-y type of primer. And then I have a few from Pure. You guys saw me already finish up as part of my Project Pan a different Pure primer. It came in the same set. It was a blue bottle and it was a hydrating one. And this is the correcting primer in Illuminate and Glow. So I am probably going to bust out a hydrating or an illuminating primer any day now because today I'm using a couple of primers that don't do anything like that to my skin. Like there's no added moisturizing benefit. And oh my gosh, with this weather, am I dry? And then I have the Pure Correcting Primer Prep and Perfect. So these are all, I'm not opening them, but these are all brand new. Like this one doesn't have a seal, but there's a bunch of air and no product yet at the top because I have never ever opened it. This is a really old one, so I don't even know if it's good. I don't know where I have it from. This is the Becker Evermat Poreless Priming Perfector. If I remember correctly, I've heard people talk about this, and this is great for very, very oily skin, which is so the opposite of what I have. So I might actually give this away and not even open it or use it. I have a feeling that is not something for me. Now, if you don't know, I recently hit 100 subscribers. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. I'm so excited. So I am starting to put together a giveaway. It's probably going to take me a few weeks because of my no buy. I can't just shell out 50 or 100 bucks or whatever on buying whatever I want for you guys. I would love for that to happen, but I do have to be mindful and frugal about it. I want to go through and see if maybe there's products I'm not going to use from whatever brand new things I have to put in as well as figure out some something a little more exciting. 
thinking as well for you guys. So I'm, I'm still brainstorming, but this is something I could potentially put as part of the giveaway. The problem is I don't remember how old it is and I just, I'm not sure I feel comfortable giving it away to one of you guys. As much as it's been fun to interact with some of you, let's face it, we are all strangers. And while I could give this to a friend and say, hey, you know, just be careful, maybe it's a bit old. I wouldn't feel comfortable giving you guys a subpar older product. That's just not, I'm not gonna do that. That's just not nice. Let's face it. And then this is, I think, the newest primer I have. This is a Becca Skin Love Brighten and Blur Primer. This came in a little set with the primer, and I might as well show it to you. This Prime and Set Mist, the Glow Shield Mist. Sorry, I'm sitting right in front of the window. The sun is shining directly at me, so if I'm squinting, that's why. So if you guys have a reflection, that's also why. So this came as a set from TG Maxx. Well, it's from Becca but I found it at TJ Maxx. I believe it was $13 for these two products. And this is something I bought towards the end of 2019 and I still have yet to use it. Mostly because I'm trying to actually use up little minis of things like this. I'm trying to use up a face mist. I'm trying to use up a couple of primers. So I just haven't gotten around to it. I got this CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Powder last year for $4. This is discontinued, but because I have heard people talk about it for a year or two, or however long this was actually in existence and pretty much everyone I watch has loved this powder, I decided to pick it up. I did open it just to swatch the shade once I brought it home, but other than that, it has never been used. Then I have a couple of products from, I believe, other subscription boxes. This was, I think, a BoxyCharm product. It expires in June of 2022. Oh good, so I have time. This is the Touch and Soul Glassy Skin Balm. I think Laura May Beauty really likes this, so I've been meaning to try this. Again, just haven't gotten around to it. So it's, it's just like a, a cream, like a jelly. I think it's a jelly. Is it a jelly? I think I've peeked inside, but I haven't actually used it. So let's peek together. Yeah, no, it's not a jelly. It's like a just a cream cream. So yeah, it's like very smoothing, really, really soft. So I would like to give that a go. And then there's a blush. This is from Note. This is the Luminous Silk Compact Blusher in 05 Desert Rose. So this is what the outer packaging looks like. And that's what we have inside. It's a nice like terracotta nude blush, probably something I would really, oh, it has one of those useless brushes on the bottom. It's probably something I would really enjoy in the fall. It looks like a fall color for me, although I could probably even try it in the summer. But again, like, do I really need another blush? I need to look up reviews on this and see if it's a formula that I think I'm gonna like, because if not, maybe this is something I could give away. And then I have two highlighters from Becca. One I got in a boxy charm a few months before I canceled it in preparation for my Nova Year. This is the Shimmering Skin Perfecto Pressed in vanilla quartz so that's what it looks like i have yet to try this it looks stunning and considering i am super super fair i think this is one i would like i think it will be quite icy but perfect on my skin and then this one is the prismatic amethyst which i found at tg max last year also so that's what that one looks like it almost has like a duochrome, I feel like. I haven't swatched it yet. It's brand, brand new, so I can't quite tell you what this is like, but these are highlighters I would like to try at some point and give you my thoughts. I don't know if either one or both of them are still available, but of course, Becca highlighters in general are still available. And in the past, I've only tried Moonstone and Champagne Pop. Oh, and Prosecco Pop, because for a short time, I did have the original Jaclyn Hill palette back from years back. One of the few products I regret selling, actually. Kind of still wish I had that. It was gorgeous, gorgeous packaging, but I wasn't using it enough and maybe it's for the best that I sold it. Next, we are gonna go through a bunch of lippies and then we're gonna finish off with a couple of Sephora favorite sets that I bought in December of 2019 and I have yet to use most of those products. So I wanted to share those with you because I really wanna start using those and I'd love to hear your thoughts. But first, the lippies that I already had in my collection. These are from all over the place. These are from Ulta 21 Days of Beauty from like last year or even 
the year before, including this Buxom, the full-on lip polish in Dolly. I have the lip gloss in my Project PN right now in Dolly as well, but this is a different formula of the same shade. So this is brand new. I have a Lime Crime lipstick in Salem. This is like a rich brown. I believe I picked this up at TJ Maxx a while back. I have yet to use that. From Sephora, I picked this up. You can see it's still even wrapped up in its packaging. Picked this up on clearance from their sale. This is their cream lip stain in rock and purple. I love their cream lip stains. This shade I got probably because it was clearanced out. Did I need it? No. Why did I get it? Because it was on clearance because I have a problem. Then this actually was one of the products that came from a set that I'm about to show you guys. This is the cream lip stain and it's a mini in a size that I cannot see because I'm getting old and this is way too tiny. It has number 96 on it. I'm sorry, I have no clue what shade it is, but it's a red. Now, it's not the Always Red, which is my favorite lip cream stain from them. And that's the one that's in my Project Pan. This is a bit more brick red, not quite as bright, a bit more subdued, just based on the color. I don't know, I haven't opened and swatched it, but that came in a lip set from Sephora. Then I have these little guys from Clinique. This was actually a gift last Christmas, not this past Christmas, the Christmas before, from a student of mine, so well, a parent of a student of mine, and they knew I was into makeup and the mom purchased this beautiful set for me. It came in this really cute tin box and it came with these five different Clinique chubby sticks. I've always wanted to try the chubby sticks. In fact, I still remember, if I can find it, I'll link it for you guys down in the description box. There was a great video that Emily Noel did because uh, Clinique came out with this huge set of a whole bunch of their chubby sticks in two different formulas they had the ones the, the moisturizing lip color balm intense so that I have that one here in plushest punch I also have the lip intense in grandest grape and then Midas Maraschino is it pronounced Maraschino cherry these are just little chubby sticks. I still need to try those. And then they have their regular ones, the regular chubby stick moisturizing lip color balm, not the intense. And those I have in Super Strawberry and Mighty Mimosa. So this is the Super Strawberry and this is the Mighty Mimosa. I have a Dose of Colors lipstick that I'm guessing I also got like in a boxy charm or something. I have purchased a bunch of these on my own, especially during one of the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sales last year, I think it was, or the year before. They had a day where all of the Dose of Colors liquid lipsticks were half price. And I already knew I loved this formula. I already had a couple of these, so I bought a few more. So I think I have like eight or nine of these, including this one that I've never tried. This is a nude mood and it's like a terracotta brown. Again, not opened. I'll maybe swatch them later, but I don't have time right now. Then I have a Bite Beauty lip pencil in Glacé. I think this formula is long discontinued. I used to have one of these that I think I either used up with decluttered, and then I got this in some sort of a set or a bird birthday park or something, I can't remember. Maybe it came in like a Sephora play box. I have another Bite Beauty lipstick in Sorbet. This is their Amuse Butt, like a bush, Amuse, Amuse Bush, Amuse Bush. I know what it means, I just don't know how to say it. This I got, I think, in TJ Maxx. They've reformulated now because I think they wanted to go all vegan or something like that. So they were clearancing these out and TJ Maxx had a whole bunch of them. And I picked that color up because it seemed like a nice color that I would wear. And also it was probably one of the few ones that hadn't been tampered with because that is an issue at TJ Maxx. Then I have a Buxom Bold Gel Lipstick, the matte formula in white Russian. This looks like a beautiful lipstick. Maybe one of these lippies I should put into a giveaway for you guys because how many lipsticks can I have? This is uh, Urban Decay Naked Cream. This is their, uh, what is this called? The Revolution line, is it? Or I can't remember. I have a full size of this 
before they reformulated them and updated the packaging to this packaging. I don't know if these still exist. Are they Have they been updated again? I don't even know. But I have my own Naked, even though it's a lot older and the packaging looks different. So this maybe I will put into the giveaway. I will decide and you guys will find out soon. And then I have three NARS Audacious lipsticks. I believe I got all of these at TJ Maxx. This is probably if I had to pick my favorite formula of lipstick ever. So let's see what colors I have. I have Stefania, which is a bright, bright, like magenta, it's sweating a little. So I gotta put this guy in the fridge. I have Greta. Oh, look at this one. This is perfect for the summer. I gotta bust this out right now. Oh, that is so beautiful. Greta is beautiful. And then I have Lou or Louis. Lou, this is another stunning nude. I can't believe I haven't used these and they're sweating a little. I apologize. They've been standing here on my desk and the sun's been coming in. I didn't think about that. That was kind of silly of me. And finally, I have these two exciting sets that I picked up back in December. And one is the Sephora Give Me More Lip Set. Maybe you guys even have because these were really popular. So I've already opened this whole half. I've already tried and I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in Very Victoria. In fact, this was really the reason I bought this set and I love that lipstick. I also have I've always wanted to try the Too Faced Peach Lipstick in Sex on the Peach. And then I have also have tried the Fancy Lipstick. I believe these lipsticks are now in clearance at Sephora, so I guess they didn't do so well. And then I just showed you the little Sephora cream lip stain in that reddish color. In fact, they might tell me what color that was on here. 96 Red Velvet is the color. And then they have a side of lip balms. Now, I like lip balms, but I don't love lip balms and I forget to use them. So. I think at least one of these guys is definitely gonna go into my giveaway. So let's go through and see what we have in here. We have the little Laneige mini sleeping mask. I'm definitely gonna put that into a giveaway for you guys. I have the full size. Then we have the Be A Roller Baby In Your Incredible Rollerball Gloss. I have no idea what this is. I've never even heard of the brand. What is this? Incredible is the brand. It's a full size. It's a roller baby, the original rollerball gloss in Choose Your Happy. It doesn't really say much else about it. So I'm gonna have to do some research and see if this is something I'm gonna enjoy or not. And then they have the fresh sugar rose tinted lip treatment. This is in rose. You can see on the other side, yeah, this is in rose. I've had one of these before. I went through the entire mini in the past and I really enjoy that. So I'm probably gonna really like that again. And then there's the Mil Kush lip balm right there. I'll probably keep two and part with two because knowing me, I don't need that much balm gloss type products. And last but not least, there's this guy. And this I have yet to use and I was so excited when I got this and I was gonna film a video on it back in like January or February. For some reason, I just kept procrastinating using it. Don't ask me why. So this is the next big thing set. Obviously none of these are available by now. This was a set they did back for the holidays and these are all the goodies in there. I'm gonna take them out and show you. Of course, what I was really excited about is the Natasha Denona Diamond and Glow. This is a blush and highlighter. Look at that sparkle. I know right now also we've got the sun shining and blinding. You guys, I'm so sorry. So you better believe I'm finally gonna bust that out. Then we have this Violet Voss product. Let's see, what is this? It's a glitter topper in Dream. So does that mean it's a glitter topper for the eyes? Does anybody know? It looks like it's already either drying out or maybe it's supposed to be like that. We have that. I am really excited to try this. This is the Cooling Water by Milk Makeup. And this I believe was a product that Sephora included as one of the birthday gifts. And uh, I selected the Briogeo birthday gift because my birthday was back in June. And M Milk had a set on there too and I was intrigued, but then I realized I already have this. And I believe this is one of the products products in that little birthday gift. So I definitely want to try that. There's a melt lipstick in here. It's a, a brownie nude. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this one. I'm not sure if that's really my color. Oh, that smells good though. Mmm, I like that. Very nice. And then we have the Artist Couture Spotlight Glitz Diamond Lights Finisher. Something I'd like to do a little more research on and see is this really something I'm going to use and how do I use it? Because for 
me to use this as a highlighter I think would be too dark. It looks like a bit more coppery. So I have to see, is this a product that would actually have a place in my collection? If not, I'm gonna give it away. And then I also have this Farsali Liquid Glass Radiance. Now this is a product I also have a full size of because it came in BoxyCharm. So I'm definitely going to be putting that into my upcoming giveaway. Hopefully you guys are excited about that. And last but not least, another really thrilling product for me is this Kaja Cheek Stamp. I really wanted to try these. I would have to re remove this before using because I guess that's where the pigment is. And then you pop the blush out. I really want to try this and get back to you guys and review this product. This is my Natalia haul coming to you from my personal collection. The only kind of haul, for the most part, that I want to be doing this year. I hope you liked it. Let me know if you've picked up anything recently, but even better, go through your stash and let me know down below what you would haul from your own makeup stash. What do you have that you've either forgotten about or that you just haven't gotten around to or you keep putting off because you're too afraid to swatch it? Am I the only one that does that where it looks so beautiful? I don't want to ruin it. I can't be the only one. Let me know all about that. I want to hear about it. And as always, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down so that I know what kind of content you guys like from me. If you're new here, please remember to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And I hope that you are all staying well, staying safe, taking all the necessary precautions, and please stay cool in this heat wave that I feel like most of the country is having. I don't know about the rest of the world. I hope that you're all staying cool wherever it is you are and again i thank you so so much for watching and i cannot wait to see you in my next video bye